Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be my first fall slash Halloween haul of the season. I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. These are actually three collective days worth of hauling. So I did participate in the soap sale that happened last week. And then I also picked up a few things whenever I went for the launch of Halloween. And then I also redeemed my birthday rewards. So just three different things, but I figured I'd shove them all into one video for you guys, just so you can see everything that I got. And if you're excited to see all of that stuff, then just keep watching. So I'll get started with body care first and then soaps second. So the first items I have here are two in Everlasting Magic. So I did uh, pick up the body cream in Everlasting Magic and I got this one using a free reward coupon that I had from the app. And Everlasting Magic is Bejeweled Berries, Phantom Petals, and Magic Musk. And then I also got it in the Fine Fragrance Mist. I just love the packaging on this one. It's so pretty. And this black cap is just like to die for. I love that they changed the cap for this one specifically. I think it's so beautiful. And um, this one I picked up for $4.95 when they were having the Fine Fragrance Mist sale over the weekend. So that is this set. And I have to say, I really adore how this smells. I wasn't sure if I'd like it in the mist, but I think I really do. It is a primarily berry gourmand scent with a little bit of um, floral on the dry down. I think I like the um, cream more than the mist though, because the cream smells so good. And I know people have been comparing this to a few different scents. I think it smells a little bit like pink velvet cupcake to me, um, just without kind of that like super cakey note and if they replaced it with a little bit of floral. And I know some people have also compared this to, um, I will have to remember and like put it down here, but I know Bonnie, Queen of the Girl Geeks, compared it to a different scent. Um, but yeah, Pink Velvet Cupcake is kind of what it smells like to me, but with a little bit less gourmand and a little more floral. I think it's really nice and definitely a scent for year round. I would not say that it's like the um, Enchanted Candy Potion. That was way sweeter and way more candy. I think that's the scent actually, Enchanted Candy Potion is what people are comparing it to. I think that one was a lot more candy-like and a lot more spring-like to me. This one I feel like has a little bit of like muskiness to make it a fall scent. And I think it's gonna be really yummy and I just adore this packaging. So that is Everlasting Magic. And then I did pick up Vampire Blood in the shower gel, and I am so excited that they brought this out in body care this year. I mean, Vampire Blood has never really been my favorite Halloween fragrance because I usually gravitate towards um, cinnamon and pumpkin during the fall, but I just love that they are finally bringing it out um, because it is such a cult favorite. But this is Vampire Blood. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. It is this deep blood red. That is not the color of the packaging, I don't think. Oh, actually. I think the packaging is like this dark purple, but I wanna say that the shower gel is actually red. Yeah. And this lid, I cannot get over how it's like black on the outside, but then the top is red. I just think that was a really good touch. And I love the rose on here. It reminds me kind of like Twilight. It's so pretty. The notes are red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum. So they haven't changed the notes at all. And it smells exactly like Vampire Blood in any of the home fragrance ones that you've ever had. It smells exactly like it. So I think they did a great job transferring this into body care and I'm really excited to try it out and see what I think and then maybe pick it up in more um, forms. And then I did redeem my birthday reward for a little mini body care. It was, I believe, a body care item up to $9.95. So I got the happy birthday body cream. I just thought it was fitting and they don't really have the fall body care out minis just yet. So I just wanted to go ahead and redeem it for one of these. And this, I think, is cake or something? Vanilla buttercream. Yeah, so I don't know what the notes are, but it really does smell like vanilla cake. Like, I wonder if this was a vanilla cake pop. Because it really does smell like vanilla cake pop. Actually, I think it is. Like, I can confirm. This is, this is vanilla cake, confetti cake pop. I'm sorry. This is totally confetti cake pop. So if you're missing that one, they still have it out in the, the happy birthday scent but only in the minis, but that's totally confetti cake pop. How funny. Okay, so that's this one. And then I did pick up a five for eight deal on pocket bags. So I got two from the Halloween collection. I got Vampire Blood. It is this beautiful like stained glass window effect. I think that's so pretty. 
It kind of reminds me of like um, Beauty and the Beast. And then I also got Moonlit Graveyard. I wanted to kind of branch away from the typical scents and try something new. This one's a little more kind of unisex of a scent. And then I picked up three in just kind of the fall scents. So I got the Champagne Apple and Honey. This one I think is really, really pretty. This is one of my favorite fall scents too, especially when it's still hot outside for fall, which is what it typically is in Texas. And then we have Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. This one is so yummy. Ugh. And Lakeside Life, another just kind of very fresh scent because sometimes I want some fresh scents, especially when I'm like walking the dog and picking up his poo. This is a great one. I don't want to have like a pumpkin pecan waffles on my hands after that. That's not good. So that was everything for body care. Now let's get into the hand soaps. I did actually pick up two for my mom and I'm about to actually meet her and my family for lunch to celebrate my birthday. It was last week. Um, so I'm going to drop off a few for her then, but let me go ahead and get into the hand soaps. So I believe all of them were on sale for either $4.25 or $3.95. I'll have to put it in the caption because I can't remember exactly, but I did pick them up because I've been um, running out of hand soaps. I think I have like two left. So I just went ahead and picked up a bunch of fall scents. So the first one I got is Leaves. I'm honestly not the biggest fan of this like golden yellow color, but I love the embossed leaves on the packaging. I think it's so pretty. And Leaves is crisp apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. Yeah, it just smells like your traditional leaves candle. It's the perfect fall scent. So I thought this would be really great, probably in the kitchen, just to like really get me in the fall mood. And then I picked up three in this really pretty like golden autumn, I don't even know what to call it, but it's just a beautiful collection. So we have afternoon apple picking, which I think this is gonna be one for my mom, just so she can transition into fall. This is crisp apple, succulent pear, and cinnamon. She's not the biggest fan of like, um, fresh air scents or like super gourmand. She likes in between. So I think this will be perfect. It's just like a fresh apple scent. And then we have cozy cashmere, which this one is smooth lavender, warm vanilla, and pink jasmine. I honestly picked it up because it's pink and pretty. I did not smell it in stores. So let's smell it. Oh, it's very lavendery, super lavender. This could be a great year round scent, honestly, but it is really, really pretty. So this will probably go like at my sink in the bathroom. And then the third one from that collection is flannel. So pretty. This is crisp autumn air, heirloom, mahogany, and cedar wood. Oh my gosh. This is just a classic. Now that I'm smelling this, I'm going to have to pick up flannel in the three wick candle because this is just so nice. Oh, it's wonderful. And I think all the rest of these are all from the Halloween collection. I kind of just went crazy on the Halloween collection. So we have Spellbinding Sweets here, which this is the first year we've had this one. It is Haunted Lollipop, Sweet Bubblegum, and Bewitched Berries. And it really does smell like candy <laughs> that you can go find trick-or-treating. Like it smells like gummy bears. Oh, it smells so good. So I thought this one was kind of fun and I really like the little ghost yellow packaging. Then we have Vampire Blood with this cool little like hand right here. I thought that was cool. Again, Red Berries, Night Blooming Jasmine, Petrifying Plum, same stuff there. And yeah, it's a good one. Picked up a Moonlit Graveyard. I think this is really sophisticated packaging on this one. I like it a lot. It's Tombstone Moss, Cold Foggy Air, and Eerie Incense. What a fun like description but I definitely get incense a lot. And like that cold foggy air is actually kind of funny that they say that because it does kind of smell like that. So this is like a cool, like spooky kind of scent. I feel like this one will be really nice. I'll probably end up putting this in Ryan's bathroom though, because it is more of like a unisex kind of scent. And I feel like he'd like that. Next we have Wicked Vanilla Woods, which this one did come back in the hand soap. And I think also in the wallflower refill bulb. It is magical vanilla, glowing amberwood, and enchanted pink pepper. Yeah, just kind of like a warm vanilla scent. Not a um, gourmand vanilla scent, but definitely more of like an airy vanilla. So that's this one. And the last one, this one will also probably go to my mom. This is Ghoul Friend, and it's like pink and super cute with the skull on it. I feel like she's gonna like that one a lot. Um, the notes are dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus. So just like a fresh fruity scent. I think it'll be perfect for her. And she likes to have something seasonal out um, in the guest bathroom downstairs. So if anybody comes over, they can like see how cute it is. So this one's for her and that is it for the haul. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. That is, like I said, my first haul of the season. I definitely plan on getting a video out soon on my like fall wish list because I have a ton of candles 
on my wish list. And even though I usually try to keep my collection under control, I think I'm just gonna go all in on fall this year because I always regret, regret, hello? I always regret not getting some candles um, that don't come back. So this year I think I'm just gonna go all out and buy whatever candles I want, especially if they're on a sale. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna wait until they're on like a $12.95 sale to purchase, but I have a lot of candles on my wish list, so I'm excited to share that with you guys. That'll probably come out soon. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of candles on my wish list, a few body care items. I definitely wanna try Together Weather um, in like the lotion or something. I feel like I'm really gonna like that one. Um, and I definitely want a few scrubs. So I have some things floating around in my mind that I wanna get and I'm definitely gonna be doing more hauls, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And let me know down below if you've been participating in the recent sales, if you've gotten some new fall and Halloween goodies, let me know down below what's your favorite and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.